Paintsville Tourism has a new face. Recently, Chessie Arnett was appointed as the city's new tourism director. Friday, Mountaintop spoke with Arnett about her new position and her plans moving forward. So many people don't even know the things that we have to offer. You know, we've got so many different facilities. We've got the Country Music Highway Museum. We've got the Mountain Home Place. We've got Loretta Lynn's Home Place, the Historic Zip Theater, the 404 Pavilion here where we're at right now. We have so many cool venues and things to offer people. We just got to get them here. With her new position, Arnett hopes to bring a variety of local activities, such as bluegrass music, and expanding on existing attractions. We're going to be showing lots more movies at the SIP Theater, having lots of concerts. One of my big ideas that I really want to get going next summer is um, the Rising Stars of 23, having like a weekly showcase of local talent performing the songs of our 23 stars. Um, it's absolutely amazing the amount of talent that we have here and we need to be showing everybody what we have to offer. As far as foreseeable events, Arnett adds the city's plans for this Halloween. On the 23rd here on the pavilion, we're going to be doing basically just like a Halloween party. Come dressed up, carve pumpkins, eat snacks, you know, they're going to have some dance music, a costume contest, all things Halloween and fun. And then they're going to take the pumpkins that are carved and display them at the pumpkin house, which is the Stafford house, um, on the 28th. And then on the 29th, we're having a double feature at the SIP of House on Haunted Hill at 7 o'clock and the original Night of the Living Dead at 9 o'clock. And it's just $3 for movie pop and popcorn. So that is a great deal. You ain't going to get that anywhere else. Um, and then on the 30th at 8.30, right after Trigger or Treat is over, we're going to be showing Hocus Pocus, and we want everybody to show up in their costumes that they've went and trick-or-treated in. And then we're going to have a matinee of that on Halloween on Sunday at 3 o'clock. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.